Hello, this is Jobs. Today I've got this Lenovo. It's an idea pad. I got it from someone who told me this laptop does not charge. So I have its charger here. And I'm going to try to turn it on and see if it turns on. When I press the power button, it doesn't turn on. And even when I pull the charger, it does not turn on. Now when I measure the voltage on the charger, I get 20 volts which means the charger gives up voltage however when I put it into the laptop and try to turn it on the laptop does not turn on so actually the laptop looks like it suffered some damage because I see it has got plaster all over all the edges so I'm going to try to take out these plasters and try to see what is happening inside So this looks to have no screws at all. Just going to take off the cover. Actually, this laptop seems to have suffered a shot at the input here. So let me take you close. If you look closely here, there is smoke. Yeah, this part was smoked. Well, this is going to be the charging input. I guess something shot out this motherboard. Now let me first check and see if the battery has got some voltage. The battery seems to be almost below 1 volt. So let's take it out and try to see if we can find out where the problem is. So the, mother, the motherboard is out and the back side here looks like it didn't suffer so much damage. I don't see any burnt part. Let me take out the RAM. Now the only part that I see to have shot is only this one. Now let me take out this housing. Let me put my meter in continuity mode. Try to measure and see if there is anything else that is short. Actually, this part that is short. Doesn't show that it's short to ground here. It's surprising with all this part part. Let me check out the graphics card because usually it's a graphics card that usually suffers the most. And you know when the graphics card is short, all the hopes of fixing the the motherboard are done. So let me check the card. The card is 1.7 ohms. Point seven ohms it looks to be really bad. So this is the processor. The processor seems to be two point nine, point eight. The chipset down here. Forty one. Now this is written because 1.7 for the graphics card really seems to be very long. But I don't want to conclude and read it out that it's totally short. Let me try to see if the voltage is able to go through here up to, to the rest of the components. Now let me first try to clean it and see if the short actually went through the motherboard. Okay, so when I look here, I see this, this was actual a coil. Let me measure this coil and see if it's still continuous. Because this coil acts as a fuse, in other words. 
So if it's broken down, voltage not be able to flow from the charger to the whole motherboard. Yeah, it looks like one of them is still working. Okay. So I'm going to use my power supply before doing anything and try to check if there is anything short ahead. I'm going to set the voltage at 19 volts. I'm going to reduce the current for a first, almost like 20 milliamps. Yes, seems to be no short. Let me reduce the voltage a little bit and check after the two MOSFETs, the second fuse. So actually the voltage is not dropping, however it shows that the motherboard is consuming some little current which is almost like 8 milliamps. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace these filters and connect the charger once again. So I'm going to first make a jumper from here up to here. This card is a filter, that's what it does, although it does filter out some noise. However, a jumper would still work. Later on, I'll transfer and put a fuse. That should work fine for a start. This car just want to see that voltage is able to flow from here to the rest of the motherboard. So let me plug in the charger. Yeah, light turns on here. Seems actually the motherboard is turning on. See the voltage? Even the processor voltage is already up. Oh, the card is heating up. Let me take it out. Now, let me first put it back in the housing and see if this laptop is able to turn on and display. If I confirm that it is really fully turning on, then I can replace a fuse instead of the jumper. So I confirm that the battery doesn't have voltage. However, let me first plug in here and try to measure the voltage on the battery. So actually right now it's charging. You see it's going up from 86, 87, 88. Now this blinking shows that the battery is totally down however it is still charging remember we measured this battery and it was below one volt so it is actually charging right now it's at 10.9911 so okay that's good let's see if we have the image oh no the hinges are so bad that looks like we have the image. Can you see that? Yeah, it looks like we have the image and seems the battery is charging. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to first wait for it to charge until that light changes color to consistent constant charging. Right now it's at 11.2627. So I'm going to wait for it to change the color 
then I'll take out the motherboard and replace the fuse, then replace the thermal paste and I'll assemble it back. In fact, I'm going to contact the customer and see if we can fix these hinks all together because the hinks are in really, really bad state. So I'm going to pause the video until the battery charges more than then I will show you again. All right, now it has taken almost like, I can say half an hour and you can see now the blinking red, which was blinking red, has stopped. Right now, after boosting, when I measure, it's showing 12.3. So as you can see down here, it's indicated to be 11.3 volts. So basically, that means the laptop is now working and is able to charge. I'm going to charge, charge it, disconnect the battery, replace the filters. If I don't replace the filters, I usually in a condition whereby this same laptop suffers the next type of shot, that shot will not be prevented. So the shot will migrate from the, the filters or the fuse the MOSFETs and probably something severe will be shot on the motherboard and that's not what you want. So I've got this motherboard and here I have these same two filters. I would like to replace them here. So it is done. So I finally assembled it and turned on the power button. So it's turning on right now. <coughs> the hinges are better. I actually fixed it off the camera. Yeah, right now it shows that it's charging. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.